Stap It Foo uh, with calls, and we're talking to Stuart. Stuart's in Winsford. Are you there, Stuart? Dinky do. Hi, Scotty. Are you okay? I'm all right, mate. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I've just been to a music show with yes. music teacher Stephen and two of my friends, and we've just enjoyed ourselves well much. Fantastic. That's what we want to hear. Yeah. And you'll be enjoying yourself a lot more now for three hours. I know, Scotty. I listen to you every night, and um, the point about Remembrance Day... Yes. Um, I did it today at work in Winsford. Right. And there's a siren going off, and I think everybody, even in the new century coming up, the new millennium, you should carry on doing it, you should carry on doing it forever, and you shouldn't forget remembering, because they die for us, and we should remember them the best possible way we can, and two minutes out of a whole year is absolutely nothing. Think of how many minutes in a year, two minutes out of your life, for them soldiers who die for us, is nothing. That's a very fair point, actually. All right, dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Hey, dinky do, buddy. Enjoy the rest of the show. Right, Lee from Rugby. Are you there, Lee? Hello, dinky do. Ah, uh, dinky do, Lee. How are we? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yes, thank you. Right, uh, just, just about this remembrance. Yes. Uh, I, I, again, I think everybody should remember to, to remember how, how bad war is. Right. It's two minutes every year just to remember how bad war can be. Right, so and what you're saying is, you know, as uh, uh, with the new millennium, we should still carry on with remembrance. Yeah, we should carry on with remembrance in, in a view to, to, for everybody to remember how bad wars can be and to, for, for a future of hopeful peace throughout But, do, but do you not think that we in the West realise there is no point to war? Well, we probably do, but <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, it still it raises its ugly head all over the place, doesn't it? Yes, it beats me why it does. I've never actually understood the point of war at all. The First World War was, uh, you know, a complete waste of time. Well, and life. And a complete waste of life. A complete waste of almost a third of a generation. Right. There was yeah. no point to the First World War and very little point to the Second one. Yeah, well, there's very little point to any war, I'd have thought, apart from a monetary gain. Uh, for for def different countries, I mean, it's, it raises an ugly head through either religion or through greed, doesn't it? Yes. But, right, uh, so what you're saying is religion's actually not a good thing. Well, no, I, I, I think religion's a good thing, as long as it doesn't cross its boundaries and, and affect uh, other, other people's lives. Do you think if we got rid of religion, we'd get rid of war? No. No? I, I, I certainly don't think so, no. Because between re religion and, and, and greed, between monetary purposes from different countries... Or, or different people, and um, there's still, there's still going to be a difference of, of interest, isn't there? What have we got rid of greed? Well, if you got rid of greed and religion, <laughs> then there'd be always some else that would probably crop up to, uh, to, to, to cause conflict between Any people. Any suggestions as to what that might be? Uh, well, different of a difference of opinion, usually. But we have a difference of opinion on here every night. That's not a war. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. Uh, no and we don't talk. We though, don't right? talk out of religion or greed. Oh no, oh no. But obviously, people still have to have their differences of opinion, don't they? Absolutely. Hey, absolutely. Dinky do. Hey, dinky do. It's a great show. Anyway, I listen to you every night. You're enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, is there any, ch any chance of a car sticker for me truck? Yeah, of course there is. Actually, if you can get near a century reception, or if you can just pop us an envelope in, we'll pop you one out in the post. Okay, then. You know, with your address on it and what have you. Righty-ho, then. All right. Well, thanks very much for talking to me. Thank hey, a do. pleasure. Dinky-doo. Have a good night. And uh, safe trucking eyes, eh? Right, we've got Malcolm, who's on the M6. Dinky-doo, Malcolm. Dinky-doo, Scotty. It's, uh, I've just come off the M6 again, Junction 16. Uh, excellent. Right. Coming out, I don't know about women drives, but... I feel you should come off at a junction, because it saves tumbling down the embankment. Oh, it does, it does. But uh, I was on two the night about women drives, but in the two, you never let me finish. No. You never let me tell me how much you enjoy your show. All right. I listen to, you know, uh, I don't listen to it as much at home because I can't get you very well on the, the uh, i fi at home. Right. But I always listen to you when I'm, uh, when I'm working late from work. I always listen to you on the way home. Excellent. And I do enjoy your show. You enjoy the so, chit chat, don't you? Oh, yeah, but I enjoy listening to you. And enjoy some of the arguments that do come up. Oh, we have some very good discussions. Yeah. And you know, enjoy you putting them in the place as well. We have to put them in their place, actually. Oh, we do, we do. Only thing to do, Malcolm, you can't allow these people to walk the street in blissful ignorance, you know. Oh, true, true. <laughs> I do.
Hey. Yeah, I work like, I'm on the road at that seven in the morning and just going home to work, home, going home from work now. Go and get your but, feet up, old son. Pardon? Go and get your feet up. And get me dinner. <laughs> get your dinner, that's it. I hope, have you got her indoors doing your dinner? Yes, I have. It's that, ready for me, waiting. Quite right, that's what we want, Malcolm. Well done. Okay, Doug, Scotty, dinky do. Hey, God bless, mate, and dinky do. Bye. Bye now. Right, Ian from Temperley. Ian from Temperley. Hello, yes. Ian. Hello, Scotty. Hiya, mate. How are you? I'm all right. Good. Just two things. Well, the first one is about your CD. Yes. Has it got the Scotty Mega Mix on? No. Oh, so where do we get that one from? No, you can't. You can't buy the Mega Mix. The Mega Mix was, was made for me as a favour by my buddy. All right. Uh, will you play it for us? Yeah, I might do. Okay. And L later on. Yeah, and the second... Because I can only play it once a night, you see. All right. And the second thing is about Remembering Sunday. Yes. I think that we should keep it because of all the men who fought in the First World War, they should be remembered because they fought for this country. Well, they didn't really. They just went and fought. Well, well... The First exactly. World War wasn't really about this country. It was just about warmongering. Well, the Second World War was about getting, stopping Hitler from uh, creating, like, a superhuman race. And, uh, you know... But I don't think there was any chance of Hitler creating a superhuman race well, anyway. He, was, he wanted to eradicate the world of the Jews, and you hear about how he tortured them and killed them and mass-murdered them. Yes, he did that. Yes, yeah, so if we didn't stop him, then he might have got rid of other nations and other uh, races and then ended up with a, just one race around. But he world. ended up stopping himself, really. Yeah, because he committed suicide. He did? Yes. He wasn't a well man, you know, Hitler. I know, he was a bit la la in You know, his brother had a restaurant in Dale Street in Liverpool. Did he? Yeah. I never knew that. The Hitlers, yeah. Hitler's restaurant, he used to come over and work in it. <laughs> so there you are. How's that for a bit of news? Yeah, Hitler was, has got relations in Liverpool. And remember you heard it here first? Mm. So there you okay. go. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do do. Nick from West Bridgefords. Are you there, Nick? Hello, Nick. Oh, that's not Nick, sorry. Is it? Is that you there? Is that you now, Nick? You all right? Yeah, how are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Yes. Not bad. It's just your thing about Remembrance Sunday. Yes. I think we've got to keep it, mate. We've no. seriously got to keep it. Now, why? Well, it's not just for the per the people from the First and Second World Wars. You've got to think about people from the Gulf War. You've got to think about the Falklands War. It's forever going on. You've but really doesn't that about. make a bit of a mockery of remembrance if we keep having wars? Um, well, you know, things have got to be sorted out. I mean, people do step out of line. You've got your people in, in uh, Bosnia who really did step out of line and uh, made people's lives hell. So, you know, you, you, you know, at the end of the day, things have got to be done. Right. So, you're never going to stop war? Uh, I don't really think so. I think it'll always be, you know, it, it's, it's human nature to fight and it's, it's always going to be there. But why is it human nature to fight? Well, I mean, you know, you've got, you've got something that's, that belongs to you and you've got somebody there that wants to take it away from you. You're not going to stand there and say, oh, all right, then take it. Yeah, but I mean, why does somebody want to take it away from you? It's greed, isn't it? It all boils down to greed. What, do you mean having it in the first place or taking it away? Sorry? Having it in the first place or taking it away? Uh, either way, it, it works both ways, doesn't it, really? So if we could stop greed, we'd stop war? Exactly, yeah. I think if everybody, if, 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 if every man was equal and everybody had exactly what everybody else had got, it would make world a fairer place, but unfortunately it's not yeah, going to happen that Yeah, way. but if every man was equal, we'd have no leaders, would we? Exactly, so it'd be a lot better place to live. Right. So, in other words, you think a world without leaders would be an improvement? Oh, damn, damn right. Yeah, damn right. Hey, a very interesting theory. Oh, yes. Very interesting theory, yes. Hey, I'll have to talk more about that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> dinky do. Dinky do. <laughs> dinky do. There you are. Do you think we could have a world without leaders? Tracy. Hello. Hello. Hello, dinky do. Dinky do, love. Uh, could I possibly pass the message on to somebody very special? Who's listening, please. So I don't normally do this, but... We don't, love. It's not really what the radio station's for, passing secret messages. I know, but I couldn't get through on Rob Charles. I mean, it's 
really important. All right, well, first names only. Yeah, no, I want to say first names. Okay. Hi, Keith. It was so good to speak to you earlier. I am sorry, and in the future you will hear things from me first. And as far as what anybody is saying, it's not true. We'll show them love. I love you to bits and always will. You mean the world to me, boy. And we'll be here for you for always. One day our dream will come true and we'll, we'll start our lives together. And that day I will hold you so tight and never let go. I can't wait to be your wife. I'll be there tomorrow for you, just like I said. I'll always stand by you for always for the rest of my life. My last with you and you only. Try and keep your chin up, love. I'll be there for you and always will be. Love you to bits. Missing you so much, Keith. Just remember, love, I'm your young and bonny lass. And always will be. We need to be strong. Hello? You there, love? Hello? Oh, dear. Right, we didn't get to hear the end of that. Anyway, not to worry, perhaps you'll ring back. Uh, John from Crew, dinky-doo, John. Dinky-doo, mate. How uh, are you? How are you, John? On, on the subject of wars, mate, if we all just smoke pot, we could all get along and we could all just have reefer together and then there'd be no need for hey, us, mate. Hey, no, but we'd all end up doing nothing like you and we'd be a pothead. And oh, as that's all right, mate. Daft as, and as daft as a brush. Right, Stephen from Withington. Dinky-doo, Steve. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Um, I must admit that when I was in the office where I do voluntary work today, the fire alarm went off at 11, and I just sat peacefully um, at my desk, and the phone didn't go, and I was able... The fire alarm went off during the two-minute silence? No, it went off to let us know when it was going to start. Oh, I see, right, and when, right. And when it terminated... Yeah. We were told that if we wanted to um, observe the silence, we could do. Um, I think we need to keep it uh, for service. You know Lawrence Binion's poem, They Shall Not Grow Old? Yes. I'm sure you know the poem. I do indeed. It's, it's a very beautiful... I have said it on many an occasion. Yes, indeed, I have too. And indeed, when I was in Australia, in all the return service league clubs, as you know, it is said at least once a night. Right. Um, I think one of the things we've got to learn is to, is to try to remember not to have wars, but I don't think we've done particularly well over the years. We've got an appalling record. We've had Bosnia, we've had uh, this business bombing um, Serbia and so on, and a lot of people have died. And I I'm not surprised when other, uh, when other planets take a look at us and find how uncivilized we are, because I think we really are. But having said that, uh, a remembrance service is moving. I've been to a cenotaph. I've laid wreaths at one uh, for the old wartime crews of the HMS Manchester. And I must admit, uh, I was very proud and honoured to do it. Um, now, I think we've got to keep it, and, and hopefully one day we will learn not to fight each other. Yes. And, you know, it's just my views. Uh, how, how would we learn that, then? Education? Well... well men, men shall... Uh, you know, beat their, their swords to plowshares and their spears to pruning hooks. Yeah, but the problem is, I mean, you've got the arms industry. They want to sell arms, arms to people to kill each other. I but mean, what if nobody bought them? Well, you'd have no arms industry, which would be good. You know, if you just said, well, we're not interested in arms. You know, we and don't they said, well, we've got a whole warehouse full of them. We said, well, we're not interested. You know, we, we won't buy them. Uh, we, we don't want your fighter aircraft. We don't want your ships. We don't want your... Uh, yeah, but then, you see, you've got you've got to find other jobs because, as you know, um, the North West is heavily dependent on... Uh, um, on, on uh, armaments. Armaments, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, we've got Always has been. We've got our factories up here. I'll give, you, I'll give you that. But, you know, it would be nice if we could live a peaceful life. I mean, a, a cynic would say that a war is a way of regulating the population. You know, I suppose... What do you think of the theory that to keep peace you need to be prepared for war? Um, yes, I think you do, but 
uh, if you remember, after the end of the Second World War, uh, where, where, where uh, Russia had been our ally, <laughs> within a couple of years we were having the Berlin airlift. Yeah, but I think that's because yeah. Churchill, um, God bless him, uh, pushed into Europe not to stop Hitler, because Hitler was already virtually a spent force, well, yes, but to stop Russia. Um, yes, and Russia but, got as far as East Berlin. But then, of course, um, uh, shall we say, discord appeared between the former allies, and uh, Russia shot the um, road and rail links down. I'm not saying why or who was right or who was wrong. Yeah, but what's interesting is that's the politicians. Oh, yes. I mean, I believe war is caused by politicians. Well, in that case, the politicians should get on with it, and the people say, well, we're not getting involved with that. You, you, right. you know, just because you're having a career crisis. You guys want to go and shoot each other, do it. Uh, you know. You're, you're politicians, fine, go ahead and do it. Uh, we won't go. And, and it's interesting to think that a lot of guys who were conscientious objectors and, and, and would not kill people, they went to stretcher bearers. That's true, and uh, dro drove ambulances. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and they went into, uh, into some very, very dangerous places. But why in this country do we not like conscientious objectors? Well... Surely we should be applauding them and saying, these people are thinkers, these people are wonderful. I have great respect for conscientious objectors who say, I will not kill people, but I'll go as a stretcher bearer. Yes, absolutely. Uh, because, you know, you've no armaments, uh, you're under fire, you're, you're carrying a wounded person. I mean, you know, what well, are you sticking out like a, a, a sore thumb, aren't you? you know? Absolutely. Hey, Steve, I'm going to move on. A joy to speak to you as ever. Well, dinky-do, old friend. Dinky-do, and God bless, and have a good weekend. Ta-da. Ta-da now. Now, uh, Elizabeth from Brotherton, dinky do. Hello. Hello. Yes. I say, are you not mistaken in calling this year the last year of the millennium? The what, darling? I say, you, amongst the many people, you're saying that this year is the last year of the millennium. It is, love. Has that it escaped is, you? The, the last year of the millennium only starts in the, in the year 2000. No, no, is no, the beginning of the next no, the start of the year, the start of the year 2000, love, once the clock flips over to two, that's the start of the new millennium. It isn't. No, it's definitely. The, it's the end no, of the no, 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 I don't know who's filled your head with that rubbish. Pardon? I don't know who's filled your head with that rubbish. It's not the beginning of the new millennium rubbish. until the year 2001. Oh, somebody's been filling your head with nonsense. Well, I beg to differ. Just well, check it out. Well, you think about this, right? You've well, got you, the, you think about well, just it. Just a minute. You think about it. You've got the year 1999, right? Yes. Well, and it, it the, starts... Now, just a minute. The, the now, next just, year... Yeah, uh, hang on. Yeah, oi, 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 one singer, one song. You've got to have a bit of respect here, love. I beg your pardon? Got to have a bit of respect instead of just shouting away at me. Right? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Well, you explain it to me. Right, then. well, I'll explain it to you, love, but you'll have to keep quiet for just a minute if that's possible. <laughs> right, the thing is, the year 1999, yeah. right? And then it started, yes, on the 1st of January 1999. Now, as soon as that year finishes, that is the end of the old millennium and the start of the new one. I beg to differ. Well, you can beg all you like, lovey, but it won't make any sense. The, the, the end of the millennium is the end of 2000. That's the end of the, the end of the new millennium. The end of the old millennium. It's not. It, the, end, the end of 2000 is the end of the old millennium. Right, so January 2001 is the start of the new one. That's right. So, are we, are, have we got everything all to, uh, have we made a bit of a mess? Yes. Right, so shall we change it? A, a no, you can't change it. Of course it. you can. A lot of people I'll think it's the beginning of the new millennium next year, but it isn't. Right, well, I'll have to change Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Millennium Bash then. <laughs> No, it isn't. If you think about it, it's a baby born in the year 
in the first year, it's not one until the end of that year. Yeah, but that's it, one. We're talking about the start of the millennium. It's, well, it's not, it's not the start of the new millennium in 2000. Of course it is. It's the end of the, it's the, end of the present millennium. Well, so so one thousand was the end of the the end of one thousand the end of a millennium. Oh, I see what you mean, but that but that's different from being the end of the year two thousand. Yeah, well, that's what I say. You're, you're but the new the new the, century the yeah, new century. It's the last yeah. year for the celebration. Yeah, but hold on, Levy. The new century, right, starts at the on the last day of the last year of the old century. So the new century starts in the year 2000, January the 1st. Do you see what I mean? You're thinking we've actually had the year 2000 when we haven't. Yes, but the new millennium, the, the millennium only finishes at the end of 2000. Well, the millennium might. Fun? The millennium might. But you see, if you take it as 2000 AD... Right? Yeah. Yes, that's 2,000 years after Christ. Now, you mean that's not 2,000 years until the end of the, the 2,000? Yes. Yes, I see where you're coming from, but it's still the end of the century, isn't it? It's the end of the century, but not the end of the millennium. Okay, so hang on a minute. Let me get this down. End of century. But One? Not end of millennium. Okay. So what I want you to do is phone me up, right? Yeah. In uh, 2000 and uh, 2999, and we'll see how we're getting on then. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't think I'd be able to also be here then, will we? Of course we will. Hey? Scotty McClue's phone in goes on forever. Anyway, it's not the end of the millennium until the end of the year 2000. Right, so we shouldn't be having millennium celebrations for no. another year. No, we shouldn't. All right, love, I'll take I you mean, one. If people want to, to, to celebrate the end of the century, all right. Right, so the, it's, it's, def it's not the end of the millennium oh, until, two, right. until the end of the ah. year. Next year is only the beginning of the last year of the millennium. Oh, I see. Well, why have they, why have they organised it all for this year, then? Because it's not like this country to be a year early with everything. <laughs> we are a year early with celebration. Well, we should all have a year off then. I mean, if we want to celebrate the end of the beginning of the last year of the, of the millennium, all well and good. So why do you think they've it's, done it then? Pardon? Who's made the mistake? I don't know. A lot of people are, are under the impression that, that it's the beginning of a new millennium, so, 2000. So does that mean that the millennium bug won't come in till next year? No, that, that's where it is. It's with all this computerization that's going to make it difficult with the treble O. It's, but it's, it's certainly it's all, it's because it's the treble O business. That, so it should uh, be called the new century bug? Well, it's the beginning, but it's not the end of the millennium. Right, so, ah, well, we, well that's what's happened then. <laughs> the millennium celebrations are to mark the start of the new millennium. It's, it's... This is the start of the millennium. Uh, yes, but it's not... <laughs> it's not the first full year of it, but it's the start of it. Are you with me? No. No, I'm not. You're causing no end of confusion. This is this the is end marking. Of the millennium yes. is only at the end of two thousand and one. Yeah, but that's that's at only two thousand. Yeah, but that's only a that's only a year away. So we're marking the start of the millennium year. We're, 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 not, we're, not, we're not celebrating the end of the millennium. We're celebrating the start of the new one. It's not the start of the new. Of course, it's it is. It's not the start of the new one next next year. It's the start of the, the last start year. Of the new one is in two thousand and one. Yeah, yeah, but it's the start of the last year of the old one, which is marking the millennium. Oh well, if you want to put it that way. Oh, of course, good. I do. You were saying you you said it was the last last opportunity to uh, remember the ones you know the uh, of the century. It's the last year, the beginning of the 
end of the, of the beginning of the end of the millennium. I'm going to have to go and have a word with the studio in Oslo. You've confused me now. I, I'm very glad I am confusing you. I'll, I'll, I, think you're <laughs> just, I think you were put on the earth to confuse people. You what? I think you were put on the earth to confuse people. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to call you Confucius. Confu That's a nice name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> No, but the millennium doesn't end until the end of the year 2000. No, but the start of the end of the millennium is in January. It isn't. Yes. The start of the new, new millennium is 2000. Yes, that's the new millennium, but the start of the end of the old one. Right, this is millennium year. Well, it's, only, it's not the end of the millennium, but you said it was the last opportunity... To celebrate the uh, the Remembrance Day. Well, that's but right. This 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 millennium because the but next, it's the, not the next the next millennium. The next Remembrance Day will be in the year two thousand. Yes, but that that'll that'll be the last time to recognise it. So this should, millennium. should we make next year the last one then? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tell me this, lovey. What age are you? 21 plus VAT. 21 plus VAT? Yeah. And how long have you been confusing people on the radio? Well, think about a baby born. It's not one until the end of its first year, is it? That's true. Well, the, 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 the same principle of... No, it's not of because... Price. No, because by the end of its first year, the millennium will be one year old. It won't. So that will be the start of year two of the millennium. <laughs> well, it won't. Yes. Get away with you. Yes. I Get away with you. Yes, I'm going to see if I can enlist your services, you know, as a lawyer. <laughs> I'm far from that. You're very I good. I do know that the, 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 the millennium doesn't end until the end of the year 2000. Well, I'm going to take your word for it and put it out to the nation, love. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, then. Yeah, dink dink you do. Nice. Dink when will you do that? And I'll see. I'm doing it now. I've done it. This radio's instant, you see. I'm in touch with the nation. No, you know... My name's not going out now, is it? No, your name's not going out. Nobody's got a clue who you are, love, including yourself. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, and I still insist, and I still know... I better that, it, ...that this millennium doesn't finish until the end of the year 2000. All right, love. The new millennium starts in the year 2001. All right, love. Hey, didn't you do? Hey? Dinky do. All right. All right, lovey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Right, now, if that lady was a fellow patient with anybody, do give us a call and let's chat. Scotty McClue's Late Night Phone-In. Have you phoned yet? Dinky do. 